So near the end of his speech, Calvin, who I consider a good friend, made a statement about how about Occupy Wall Street. And I think that points to a central problem that's occurred on the government bench. And it's a confusion with, oh wait, the opposition bench. The, and it's a, it's a confusion about where the United States, which is very, very different. It's a country with a functioning democracy, really? without a history of oppression in the last like couple of years, right? <laughs> but that's a very different context, and that matters. Uh, we, should, uh, we should support the black bloc. The first is this question of when political violence is justified. And we got a lot about that on the top half, and then some stuff from, from the bottom, or bottom half as well. Second, how can we promote political pluralism in Egypt? And this is really a lot of what Ali brought to you. And then the third question is, what are the effects of the Black Bloc movement? And this has been sort of underlying much of the debate, and I think ultimately um, falls on the government bitches side. But before that, some refutation. I would like to point out that shortly after the Arab Spring, you know, like now, <laughs> we're having a discussion about uh, the problem of autocracy in Egypt, right? Like maybe the Arab Spring wasn't the best model. We would like that to be the model, but it doesn't seem to be the case given all of the evidence that the, uh, that the government bench has given. S second, he talks about this inconsistent ideology um, and, and the long-term impacts of that. We think the inconsistent ideology of the black bloc movement is a feature, not a bug, right? Like, we think that in the long term, this inconsistent ideology, like what happened with Occupy Wall Street, although in a different context, means that, the, that as, the, as some of the objectives of the movement are accomplished, that it will start to break apart, right? So as it becomes less necessary, it will become less existent. And that's good. Like, that works out pretty well for us. Finally, we get this idea of the, the things that the Black Bloc movement has, it has the potential to do is tell Morsi that if you don't to have, pay some attention to secular moderates, then you've got to deal with us, right? So there's that. But second, I kind of reject the whole idea because it's essentially saying that because Morsi, out of fear, refuses to let discussion about whether or not he should stay in office take place, that we can't have this discussion, right? Like it's, like, the, 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 and why the black bloc is okay. Yes? Again, there's a fundamental question here that they've ignored. What is the end game? What is the end game of society where you fluctuate between yeah, different okay. violent power groups? Sure. The, the end game of this is hopefully, not guaranteed, but hopefully more political pluralism. We think we've given you a lot of evidence to, to, to suggest that that will be the end game, and that, and, and that, as I just mentioned in my reputation, the black bloc movement becomes less um, important as that is accomplished. It's when the alternatives to, to seeking representation are blocked, right? That, that sometimes it is justified. In a, a POI, I asked the first op, says that that's true, that sometimes political violence is okay. Although they don't tell you when, which seems to be implied never, right? And, and we think it is sometimes justified, and it's when those alternatives are blocked. And we think that that's the case in Egypt, right? Because of the, the blocking of discussion that's occurred in, under Morsi in terms of the religious oppression that was talked about and the, and, and the constitutional issues that we've discussed, that that justifies most political pluralism in Egypt. And, and I think that this is a lot of what Ali talked about, and I think it's crucial. The opposition's position seems to be to wait and see. We, we have a government that seems to be moving in the wrong direction, but we should just hold fast, and hopefully things work out, and they become more uh, plural. We're not certain that's the best discretion, uh, just, uh, you know, more towards including other elements of society beyond the Islamic Brotherhood, and which is what the Black Bloc Movement primarily is advocating for, is what's important. And we think that as that happens, um, Egypt becomes more plural and better. Finally, what are the effects of the Black Bloc movement? And this is this has been underlying the whole round. But before I discuss it, help. Okay, so your partner in the government bench tells us that it's okay to violently attack groups like the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt and just kill them or blow up their buildings or whatever. Where is the link from that to political pluralism in Egypt? Because as political pluralism developed, because it's the it is the demand for political pluralism that the Black Bloc movement uh, promotes, uh, <laughs> that the Black Bloc movement, um, in, in, res in response to the Black Bloc movement's violence, the government is forced to recognize more voices uh, in order to pre pre prevent that violence. And because of the very fragmentation you discussed, as that becomes more true, the Black Bloc movement becomes weaker.
They stand to, to, to refresh the original ideas that Ali talked to you about as far as the, the Muslim Brotherhood. But then they prove pluralism and that these things are good. The opposition tells you that because they're violent now, that, they're, they're, that, that the only outcome uh, in embracing them is increased violence, and we don't think that's necessarily the case. Then the government bench is giving you a bunch of reasons why political violence is justified at times, why in this specific Egyptian context those things are true, and finally, that the Black Bloc movement will do those things. It's not necessarily that we embrace all of the Black Bloc movement's ideologies <coughs> or that it's even possible to do that because they are fragmented. It's... <laughs>